So everyone, welcome to the Chari Center Community Health Hour. It's a pleasure to have you all here. I'm Deepak Chari. I'm an engineer and certified biofeedback specialist at the Chari Center of Health. Thank you all for coming. We really appreciate you, all of you from all over the US and all over the world every week when we have our webinar at 10 a.m. on Saturday morning Pacific time. Thank you for all being here. And thank you everyone for forwarding our emails to everyone you know so we can really get the word out of all of our videos and articles. Thank you so much. We also would like to let you know that for those of you who are new to us, to our webinars, you can get caught up from when we started back in April. If you go to our website and go to our media page, so our website for Chari Center of Health is www.charicenter.com. That's C-H-A-R-I-C-E-N-T-E-R.com forward slash media. And we'll show you what that looks like. This is what it looks like. So when you go to our media page on our Chari Center page, if you scroll down, you will see all of from our most current to the past webinars. So just want to let you know that. So please watch those to get caught up with us. Every webinar is very impactful and still very relevant to what's going on. All right, that's great. And the other item I'd like to mention for our Chari Center Community Health Hour webinars is that if you're new here today or you were referred by somebody else and you want to get on our email list, then you can sub subscribe by clicking the link and joining our email list. And we're gonna put that link in the chat room as well. So if you're new here and you say, hey, I wanna get all these emails and get up to date because when we send our videos out, we fully detail the videos and timestamp it to the minute of every detail in every video and all the bullet points of what's in all of our uh, webinars. So please click on the subscribe link that you'll see in the chat room and you can subscribe to our emails and you'll always, you won't miss a single email from us for any of our webinars or any important articles. All right, just wanted to tell you about that. So as I said, my name is Deepak Chari. I'm an engineer and certified biofeedback specialist at the Chari Center of Health. My sister, Dr. Chari, myself, Deepak Chari, and Mama Chari, you'll be meeting both of them shortly, formed the Chari Center of Health 21 years ago. And the main mission of the Chari Center of Health is advanced integrative medicine. So what we're doing is going to the root cause of all the symptoms that anyone is having, whatever physiological issue it is, or even emotional issue, and using the most advanced techniques, methodologies, and protocols, and even technologies, some of which are over 30 years ahead of time. And we've always been ahead of time with whatever we've done. We have many, many satisfied clients from all over the U.S. and all over the world. Again, to learn more about us, go to our website, www.charicenter.com. So just wanted to let you know about that. And to start off our show, I'd like to introduce one of the key people of the Chari Center of Health, and that's Mama Chari. Mama Chari is the universal mother for everyone, and that's why we call her Mama Chari. She's the mother that everyone would love to have, and she loves to be everyone's mother. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce Mama Chari. Thank you, Deepak. Thank you, and namaste. Welcome you all uh, from, of course, our family in, the, in San Diego and the, around the country, and our global family. You are, we are all family and we are all getting together every Saturday and we are sharing so many things and it is so wonderful to have you all every Saturday morning and every that is very special for us. And today I won't take much long, normally I do. Today we have a very, very special, beautiful, brilliant Dr. Salman and uh, yeah, I know we are all looking forward for that, but I just wanted to give you some small tip. You know, this is the summer and everybody gets dehydrated, especially when you drink the Starbucks coffee, <laughs> you know, and coffee really dehydrates. And this is the fresh coconut. Uh, you see in the stores, you know, this is the fresh coconut. I hope you can all see, and you can make a drill here with a drill, I think much easier to use a drill because they have hand, 
hand uh, coconut openers, but sometimes they break and dangerous. So I prefer you use the drill. Just make one hole uh, next to the, from the, I showed you behind the top, and then take a glass and put a strainer, and on top of the strainer, put the coconut upside down. So the water comes down, and it is so uh, fresh, so delicious, and it really gives you a lot of energy. You know, in World War II, where for the soldiers and all, they didn't have all everything available. So they used to give them for the dehydration, the coconut water. That's how they survived. And you know, the Starbucks coffee cost from 250 to 450, whereas these coconuts, organic coconuts, cost from three to 350. I think it is worth it and it really helps you for your health. Uh, we have been drinking for I don't know how many years and I just wanted to give you this tip and this is wonderful for summer, not only for summer, I think you should take every day instead of coffee and it will really cool you down and give you energy. It has the sugar, you know, everything. So it's so wonderful. So that's what I want to go to say. But without further ado, I know you're all looking forward to hear Dr. Solomon. And thank you so much for coming and enjoy the show. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mama Chari, for those beautiful words of wisdom. I hope you all enjoyed them. Thank you. All right. So if you're feeling sad, angry, depressed, frustrated, and helpless, believe me, you are not the only one. You're actually one of millions of people. But what if there is a way to release all that stress, anxiety, depression, frustration, and feelings of helplessness from your mind and body quickly and easily? Well, there is. The good news is there is. Hi, my name is Deepak Chari. I'm an engineer and certified biofeedback specialist at the Chari Center of Health. And I have an advanced voice biofeedback technology and program that can quickly and easily release all of this pent up stress that we're all going through quickly and easily using the sound of your own voice. In fact, your voice is the most accurate reflection of how you perceive the world, react to the world, respond to the world, and the actions you take. So through the power of your voice, I can actually create energy voice maps, which will actually detect where the emotional charges of, of emotional upset or frustration or helplessness or whatever it may be from your subconscious. And then I send you harmonics of sound, or as I say, geometrics of sound back to you to that literally unhook that connection of those triggers. And then you actually are left with a feeling of peace, ease, grace, and calmness. So that's what this, my program can do for you. And I've done this for thousands of people all over the U.S. and all over the world, both in person and virtually, and very successfully. Many happy clients. So just wanted to let you know. And I also wanted to let you know, I offer a complimentary 15-minute consult with me, a virtual consult with me, so you can see how this program, this advanced voice biofeedback technology program, which I also call my life transformation technology program, because it literally can transform your life, how it can help you with whatever issues you want to address. So in the chat room, you'll see a link where you can um, go to my website and sign up for a complimentary 15-minute consult, as well as learn more about the work I do. So I highly encourage you to do that because during this time, wouldn't it be great to be in peace, ease, and, and calmness, and confidence in spite of what's going on around us? That's why I thought I'd offer that to you. All right. So next on our list, I'd like to introduce the medical director and founder of the Chari Center of Health, and that's my sister, Dr. Chari. We have an incredible program for you, with, especially with our special guest, Dr. Solomon. We'll be introducing to you shortly. So without further ado, I'd like to first introduce my sister, the medical director of the Chari Center of Health, Dr. Chari. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. Thank you, Deepak. Thank you, Mom. And thank you so much, Dr. Solomon, for being a very special guest today. Um, you have such a wealth of knowledge, experience, you're a visionary, and you're so heart-centered. And so we're so honored from the bottom of our hearts that you're, you're joining us today. And we know the information you share can be so beneficial and life-changing for 
all of our attendees who are watching live. And then for those of you watching live, please share the video with everyone you know so we can benefit everyone at a global level as well, especially in these challenging times. And so as Deepak was mentioning again, my name is Dr. Chari. I'm a medical doctor. My specialty is in internal medicine, and I've been practicing integrative medicine or functional medicine for the past 23 years and for the past 21 years at the Chari Center of Health when we formed our business in 1999. And I incorporate nutrition, leading edge natural remedies, mind-body medicine, and the most advanced health and wellness technologies, some of which are 30 years ahead of time. And also offer both consultations in our office, which is in Encinitas, California, as well as virtually. And now because of COVID, we're able to, uh, my brother is able to work with people all over the US and all over the world, which he's done for over 15 years. And now because of COVID, I myself am able to do medical consultations with in many of the states and most of the states now because they've opened up telemedicine because of the current situation. So if you're interested in a complimentary 15 minute consultation, you can go to our website at charis.com, that's C-H-A-R-I-C-E-N-T-E-R.com. And I would love to speak with you where you can share your medical concerns. I would share with you what my approach would be. And in general, my patients have been women over the age of 40 going through hormonal changes, either what's called perimenopause or their periods have stopped, which is known as menopause, um, and also for treating insomnia, you know, hot, hot flashes, night sweats, mood swings, and weight gain, especially that belly fat around the midsection, which I know can be very frustrating, as well as treating general internal medicine issues, ranging from allergies and asthma and blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol issues, arthritis, and you know traditional medical issues from anyone age 18 and up. So again, we'd love to work with you and please visit our website. And thank you again and for being here today. And again, thank you, Dr. Solomon, for being here. And Deepak will introduce our wonderful guest, Dr. Hannah Solomon. All right, thank you so much, Dr. Chari. Thank you for that, and hope you found that very informative, everyone, this latest up-to-date information. So now it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Hannah Solomon, our special guest speaker today uh, that we're going to interview. So I'd like to read a little background about her. Dr. Hannah is the CEO of Be Well Health LLC and the author of Clearing the Air, One Nose at a Time, Caring for Your Personal Filter. She was awarded a patent in 2004 for nasal wash bottle design and in 2017 was awarded a utility patent for the nasal pure bottle. Dr. Solomon graduated from the University of Missouri School of Medicine in Columbia, Missouri in 1986 and completed a pediatrics residency in 1989. She and her husband, George, a family physician, practiced medicine together in a clinic for 20 years. Dr. Hannah's focus on disease prevention and patient empowerment through education has always been her driving goal. She has been featured in national publications such as Parents, Health, and Women's World, as well as the Wall Street Journal. She currently lectures to both medical and consumer audiences about preventative and natural approaches to nasal health issues. Dr. Hannah is devoted to her community as much as her practice. She has four children, and lives in Columbia, Missouri with her husband, who is also her best friend. So without further ado, it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Hannah Solomon. Thank you, Dr. Solomon. Thank you so much for inviting me. You're very generous with your introduction. I appreciate it, and I really applaud the entire Kari Clinic for what they're doing and their approach. It's really an unusual find to find a medical physician who is so interested in empowerment, nutrition, and common sense, as well as, well as high-tech um, current theories and uh, processes. So thank you for inviting me. Um, it's a very important time. We'll have you talk a little bit about yourself and your, what you've done, and then we'll have a Q&A afterwards with the people in the chat room. 
as well as some other questions okay. that I may ask you as well. And, you know, so we'll kind of go from there. So if you'd like sure. to kind of talk about yourself and your amazing work and what you've done, and then we'll, uh, we'll see what questions we have in the chat room. That sounds fabulous. So I'm an immigrant. I was raised in the ghetto of Brooklyn. And uh, after working in the World Trade Center on the 60th floor, they were still building the World Trade Center. There was a little bomb scare. And when they evacuated us at that moment, when I was in the streets and it was crowded, and I looked up to the sky and thought, what is my purpose? in this world. Why was I placed here? This, working on Wall Street, is not the reason. So um, I traveled the country and I joined the largest spiritual commune at the time. It wasn't drugs and sex. It was spiritual. It was vegetarian. And it was self-sustaining. And I um, wanted to change the world by being an example of a community. Well, what I learned in that community is that I myself needed to be the one to make a move. And so after four years and two children, I decided that I needed to go be a doctor. But before I could be a doctor, I had to find a house to live and a way to support my two children. And I needed college and I needed a car and I needed a job. But when I left the farm, somebody was watching because within two weeks I had all of that. And three years from the day that I left the farm, I was starting medical school. So I'm now an older person who was into natural foods and tofu and coconut water 30 years ago. And eating well was always my number one focus, because that's the gas we put into the car. Um, I was blessed during my residency to be introduced to who I think is the most wonderful pediatric ears, nose and throat doctor, who said to me, Hannah, if I could get everybody to wash their nose, I would never have to do surgery on a child again. I heeded his advice. Of course, my colleagues laughed because they wanted to do the surgery. But when I went into practice, I began teaching nasal irrigation to two-year-olds with a netty. You can imagine my colleagues, they wanted to sign me up to the psychiatric mental hospital. But to me, I knew that most children were coming in with a nose, sinus, ears, throat, lung issue. Almost all of them began with a dirty nose. Now I had two rules in my practice. Don't ask a two-year-old to do something if I myself cannot do it. And I'm not a good swimmer. I don't like water in my nose. The other thing is I always would expect and plan to treat my patients like I would want my own children to be treated. That is, please give me as much information as I can so we can make a good decision together. So I started teaching the neti. And for those who are not familiar with the neti, it's an old fashioned teapot device that's been used for 5,000 years. It's wonderful. Buddhist monks used it and they would put salty water in a teapot and bend and twist and pour the solution into the sinuses and it would come out. Um, it is a very healthy and healing and natural practice that we've had for thousands of years. I myself cannot do the neti. Um, and I found that most of my little patients couldn't and men Men could not do it. So I found a way to make a nose wash comfortable enough, even for me, because that's the standard. And so I came across, I developed and designed a bottle that flushes straight back. And the reason that's important is you can actually put a Q-tip straight back and you won't feel it if you go 
in the same pathway as where the air goes. If you push anything up, that's when, like in an eddy, that's when your eyes burn or your sinuses are filled with water and feels like somebody just pushed you in the swimming pool. And in essence, you're taking the dirtiest part of the nose, the front part, and pushing the garbage into your sinus cavity. We breathe 10,000 liters of air every day through this little nose. This nose protects us and makes sure the air that reaches our lungs is clean and moist and warm. And we make a pint to a quart of mucus every day, every human. And that mucus is supposed to attract the irritants that we breathed in. And then most of it is coughed, swallowed, or spit out. The problem is if we make too much mucus, like if I'm older, maybe my mucus is thicker. Or if I'm on a certain medicine, my mucus is thicker and stickier and hard to get rid of. Or if I'm congested and my body is reacting and making even more mucus. It is my humble opinion that when there's something wrong in the body, the first step should be to clean it, to uh, approach it in a healthy way. So to me, it's common sense, if your nose is troubled, to wash your nose before you use a medication, instead of using a medication, instead of having a sinus surgery, instead of having tubes in your ears, instead of using as much asthma medicine, or instead of snoring. The salt that I particularly like is a super salty mixture, but it's buffered. And um, the reason we use, actually, we actually use two different concentrations. Um, we always begin with one packet in a large bottle, and that makes it isotonic. Iso means it's the same salt as how much is in the body. So it's a little bit like brushing your teeth with plain water. So it gets some of the stuff off, but it doesn't kill anything. It doesn't thin the secretions. It doesn't do a lot of therapeutic benefits. I always suggest everybody starting with the milder solution and then you practice and you wash your nose in one side and the garbage comes out the other side and it vacuums the sinuses while it's coming out. But if you want to remove 80% of the allergens, this is hypertonic as compared at to isotonic. And I can share this in a simple graph form that the doctor can share for everybody. But Hypertonic does the following as compared to isotonic. And everything I'm going to tell you has been supported separately by independent studies. It thins the thick secretions much better without the drug, so you don't need Robitussin. It shrinks the swollen membranes without a drug, so you don't need the Dimetap or the Sudafed. It removes 80% of the allergens, 80%. So you don't need as much Allegra or Flonase. It improves the filtering of the little hairs, 17%. It augments healing of bloody tissues. Raw bloody tissues will heal faster if you wash with a very buffered salty solution. And the most important thing to me is so exciting that I want to stand at the top of the mountains and scream it to the world. Hypertonic salt makes an environment uninhabitable for bacteria and virus. 
why wouldn't we simply use a net? It's like going for a swim. You're not harming anything. And as Dr. Kari and I both took vows, first, do no harm. So that's my approach. I've written a book on the subject, as Deepak had uh, suggested, and I'm happy to share this book electronically with anybody who emails us. I would love to take questions. Um, I, to me, it's not about selling or it's not about business. It's about how many people can I actually save from surgery and antibiotic side effects and fungal issues, just avoidance of problems that can be avoided. That's my story. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, Dr. Solomon. That's beautiful. Fantastic. So your work is just amazing. And um, as I use it every day and- Thank you. Yes, morning and night, and it just makes my whole day. I breathe so easy and clearly, and it's just fantastic. And it, what it does for you, as you described, not having to do, depend on those other drugs and and uh, all those things, and it's just amazing. It liberates you. Fantastic work that you've done. So the, so the real question in my mind is, even though there's been, what, maybe 100 studies from 1980 to the year 2015, on the safety of nasal irrigation all over the world, but we never read about it. Why is that? Now, in the last six months, there's many studies looking at hypertonic buffered saline for gargling with COVID and nasal washing with COVID, and they're all supportive, but have we actually seen those studies in the press? No, why? because nobody could really make any money if you're simply washing. The drug companies can't make all that money. So it's a very interesting situation, and so I am thankful for you to give me this opportunity to clear one more nose at a time. <laughs> that is fantastic, and it's fascinating what you said about the drug companies can't make any money out of it because this should be, a, someone should stand on the mountaintops and I'd be the first one to be happy to do that. And others can join me to tell about this amazing work and how incredibly effective it is and easy as it is and so relieving it is to replace all those other common medications. So oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So hopefully we can help get the word out and help and all of you in the room can help get the word out too. That's awesome. Most medical doctors Osteopaths, chiropractors, they don't know the difference between one wash and another wash. And as you and I know, every human, if you're going to try something and it doesn't feel good, they're not going to comply. And the doctors don't care that much because it's just a little nothing. It's not a surgical procedure. It's not a $10,000 profit. It's nothing but education and prevention. It's interesting. I've been endorsing and recommending NasoPure, and this was invented by Dr. Solomon because it's so unique. The bottle, if you can all see the design of the bottle, the way you use it is so unique because I, for years, would avoid doing it myself because I didn't feel comfortable. And I tried, you know, all of the over-counter. I didn't even want to go. I attempted once the neti pot and backed off immediately and I used some of the over-counter ones and then stopped. I maybe used it once. But when I found out about nasal pure, then and I used it myself, it was life-changing. And I know for a fact that through all of the um, winter, fall, winter season, when I've been using it personally and my family as well, it has prevented us from getting, you know, as getting the flus and other illnesses, because we were supporting the very airways that can bring in all of these viruses. And so we were using this like anything last year. And, you know, when it was the, the flu was, you know, the flu last year, when I would know is COVID uh, was very harsh and extremely 
disruptive because it was uh, very powerful, I should say. And we knew something was off with the flu last year. Now, of course, we know. But the nasal pure is one of the simplest, most powerful things you can do using it on a regular basis to keep your nasal passages clear so that'll protect your lungs. And even the salt solution that Dr. Uh, Solomon came up with is so unique. And so that's why we highly, highly recommend it. And we're gonna show you um, Dr. Solomon's website as well. And Dr. Solomon, you were very kind to share with me some of the, the studies and would it be all right if I share that with everyone too from the NIH? Before we go to the study, can I demo a Please. quickie? Would that be okay? Please, absolutely. Excellent. Okay, first of all, I wanna say, life is not about selling plastic bottles. These were made in America in the beginning because it was the right thing to do. These kits are assembled by adults with disabilities ever since it left my basement because it's the right thing to do because that's what this is about. Um, my salt packet, by the way, I did not develop, but thank you for the compliment. My salt packet is the same mixture that's been used in the operating room for more than four decades. And many of the studies use this mix. The only reason I used it is I knew that my mentor swore by it and it was good enough for me. So it's not about the money. Okay, so you put one. So um, let's make believe this is an eight ounce bottle. It's really a four ounce. An eight ounce, adults cannot overlap their fingers. That's how you know. A four ounce, the adults can overlap. Make believe this is filled with water. And I have one packet of salt in here because that's my daily routine. I want to be sure and demonstrate the flow is toward the nape of your neck. It is not toward your eye if you want a comfortable um, wash. All the way in, take a breath. <gasps> and then squeeze a little and it comes out. If you like the feeling, great. If you don't, try it again in a slightly different position. So I'm gonna do it like I'm actually doing it, but there's no water here. So and I'm gonna sit like this if you could see me. So I'm in my nose. It's not sexy, but it works. It's in my nose. There's water lines. I make sure the water lines are perfectly aligned because that can, Make sure it goes along the nasal floor. I'm all good. I take a breath. <gasps> and I squeeze in one side and it vacuums the sinus and exits the other. And then the last thing is, please blow your nose like an old farmer without blocking one side so that your ears won't be bothered. Now I'm done. Wow, that was fantastic. 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 Thank you. And never do much. it to anybody else. Oh, never do it to anybody else. A child can do it on their own. You've designed it that way, so. And in my book, there are age-specific instructions. So if you have a two-year-old, look at the instructions. And anybody could always call me. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. And the reason we're sharing with all of you about NasoPure is because it's something we have personally used for years, shared with our patients for years, and seeing such incredible results. And especially with COVID and everything that is taking place, and as we're moving into the fall and winter season, we want to make sure you're empowered to have the best tools at your hands for your loved ones and your friends and your family so that you can all be safe. And so Dr. Salman was sharing with me, um, and I'll just quickly show you, you know, the power of nasal irrigation, nose washing, saline nose washing, which is called saline nasal irrigation. And this is a study uh, that was, was published and at the NCBI, which is and the National Library of Medicine, National Institutes of Health. And this was dated in November of 2009, saline nasal irrigation for upper respiratory conditions. And we're gonna have all the articles and basically just wanted to share with you back then, you know, how they were talking about 
the power of nasal irrigation regarding viruses and allergies. And so this is very important. And Dr. Solomon also shared with me about another article of a family doctor urges Americans to wash their noses to prevent COVID-19 infection in asthma and allergy solution that works with that works for COVID-19, the powerful natural prescription for respiratory health during the coronavirus pandemic, Freedom Press 2020. And so we will have the links for all of this as well in um, the email that we sent to you under the reference section. So just wanted to share with you the articles that Dr. Hanner shared with us because this is very powerful. All right. I just wanted to make a note because you bring up such an important point about upcoming season. This is a triple hit on the nose. It's allergies, it's COVID, it's flu, and it, depending on your uh, where you live, fire or VOG. Or, you know, the list goes on. And I just wanted to discuss very briefly the idea of toxic overload and our, what our body can do. So when our bodies are um, absorbing all of these toxins and then the allergens that are out there and then the flu, at some point your body tips over and you have bad symptoms. My proposal, my suggestion is that we decrease the toxic load wash the nose at least twice a day if you're exposed. And that way, when the flu hits you, but you've washed, you didn't allow it to be absorbed. You washed it out. Your body wasn't overloaded. And so in addition to eating good, real food that has real color and um, not putting poisons on your skin, Keeping your nose clean is so important to decreasing that toxic load. Thank you. It's so powerful to do this technique. We highly encourage you to use the nasal pure to do your nasal rinses and do them regularly for you and your loved ones and to start soon. This is the time to start actually. And we have some wonderful questions too. Good. Yes, yes. I'm just going to go, I'm going to the chat room. There were some questions for you, Dr. Solomon. So let me just kind of, and comments. Um, let me see here. One person said, I love the nasal pure. Use it all the time. That's great. Tell um, that person, thank you. Yes, thank you. Another question was that if one nostril is totally stopped up, do I still use the nasal pure? I find it's more difficult, she wrote. If I am totally congested on the night right nostril, I cannot move any air through. It makes no sense to wash through the open one. Why? Because it can't make the U-turn. It's going to go in the ears. The way to wash, and the enclosed instructions tells you, and I'm so glad the person asked, is that you always use hypertonic, the saltier version, and if you imagine this is very swollen, what I'd like to suggest is gently squirt. You don't have to make a full pressure or seal. Gently squirt some salty water in there. The salty water in the next 20 minutes, 40 minutes, will shrink the swelling of the, what the tissues was seen. 20 minutes later, an hour later, do it again gently. When you're able to make the U-turn, then you're ready to go. You're basically rotor rootering the swelling with salt water without a drug. That is a fantastic answer. Excellent, excellent information there. Another question in the chat room was, where do we get the Nasopure bottle and the hypertonic salt? Um, you could visit your clinic. Um, you could go to uh, most like health food stores like Vitamin Cottage and Sprouts or any drugstore can ask. I'm a very small company. I'm not in the big box stores. Um, most little health food stores can bring it in or they could go to my website or Amazon or 
they could call me and I can find a place that's close to them. Great. Yes. And um, yes, thank you. Uh, let's see. Another question was, oh yeah, one testimonial, that same lady who asked that question said, uh, one year I used it every day and never got sick. So that was, um, that was really cool. Another person said, my parents would have us gargle salt water when we had a sore throat. Just a comment. One of my first taglines was developed by a pediatrician using your mother's wisdom because it was based on, we all knew that that salty sniffing worked. We knew that the salty boiling water with the towel over the head worked. We just needed to get it a little more aggressive for the little children who were suffering rather than using antibiotics. You know, so it, the original idea did come from grandma. <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Let's see. Um, another person said, I buy my nasal pure at Sprouts in San Diego. So, yeah. Thank you. I think they're having a special. I'm not sure. Okay. So that's great to know. Let's see here. Um, okay. Another question is, if we don't have distilled water, example, when we're traveling, can we use bottled water? Yes. Or if you're camping, you can boil water and let it cool. Ah. Oh. Okay, that's that's great. Okay, that's good to know. That was a great question. Um, then another one question is said, uh, please ask the doctor what she thinks about the lining inside of the nose. Just okay, bottom part with Vaseline as kind of a HEPA filter. It, 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 uh, there are some people that are putting adhesive-like things so when the air particles and the allergens come in, they get stuck to the Vaseline kind of thing. So a little bit on the, on the outside is fine. I worry about a petroleum product draining into the lung, which would cause a problem. But um, a little moisture or oil on the outside is not harmful, if that's what the question was. I believe, yeah, I was, I think that's probably what it was. Okay. Another question was, what determines the bottle size? How many packets for hypertonic level? To start, if I was a child, my mom would give me my four ounce bottle and half of a salt packet. And everything I'm telling you is in every kit. And they could always just call me directly, but one half packet in a four ounce fill the water to the fill line, and that makes isotonic. And then the kid just follows mommy or daddy, just like how mom taught the kid how to brush. You know, any, any move forward, you'd clap and cheer, right? They first held the brush, then they put the brush in their mouth. Yay, they did it. And you make them improve the technique with each time. Isotonic, show the kid, do it with the kid. Um, if they're sick, like cystic fibrosis, um, if they have chronic lung issues, if they have chronic sinus issues, they should definitely use the hypertonic. So it'd be one packet, four ounces, squish, squish, you're done. If you're an adult and you prefer the larger bottle, you start with one packet, fill it, wash, wash, but that's isotonic. Some folks prefer it, it doesn't work as well, but it's okay. Another thing you can do is add one packet in half of a bottle, which makes isotonic, I mean hypertonic. Let's, let's review that. One packet, eight ounces is isotonic. One packet in four ounces is hypertonic and that's the best bang for your buck. Um, never do it to anybody else, never force, never bully anybody into doing it. And if anybody ever has an issue, I have been known to FaceTime many of people in their bathroom. And I have never been unsuccessful in getting somebody to wash comfortably. So they're welcome to call me if they ever have questions beyond today's event. 
That's absolutely wonderful what, you, what you're offering to do for everyone in, in our room today and, and anyone watching afterwards. Thank you, Dr. Salman. I'd like to uh, also mention that uh, you can order the bottles and the Nasal Pure also from the website www.nasopure.com. That's N A S O P U R E.com. We have that posted in the chat room. And for anyone watching the video, we'll have that on the screen. So just letting you know that. Um, people commented, um, thank you, this is amazing. And then another comment um, was that, would alkaline water be beneficial to use, for example, pH 8.5, 9, or 9.5? Ooh, this person is well informed. Well, they don't have to because when you mix the nasal pure salt in water, the pH is 8. Ah. Oh. So that, okay. No, we and just really test it to be. That's our standard. That's great. And let's say you're traveling, Dr. Salman, and you used mineral water, you know, because you didn't have distilled water. Would that still take care of the pH as well? I don't know that I could answer that without knowing which minerals. Which water, yes. Because yes. otherwise I won't be accurate. Perfect, perfect. All right, another question was, should the salt water be warm or room temperature when you do the... Well, if, the you're a wimp, if you're a wimp like me and you like comfort, I like body temperature. There are some people I've been told, mostly men, who like cold water. And I don't know how they would do that. I think body temperature, especially for children and folks that are hesitant and don't want to suffer, warm water. And okay. reminder, never, 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 never microwave plastic. Ah, very important point. Please. And thank you for telling about the men because I was using cold water and I actually thought, God, it would be nice if it was warmer. All I had to do was warm some water. Okay. Great. And, and, and so I, that's good to know. Another question in the chat room was, does it help with snoring and yes. how? And they said, how? Because she, they, she said, my grown son has been snoring since he was hit in the nose with a baseball. Okay, so let me answer the specific question, which is, because he had a fracture, I have no clue what his anatomy looks like, so I would not be silly enough to try to suggest I know why he's snoring, right? I don't know if it's the, the break in the nose, or was he one of these kids who always had large adenoids anyway and never got removed? So... I can't answer that woman's question, but if she wanted to contact me and I could ask more questions, then maybe I could answer it. But um, I, let me answer the question in a more general way now. So snoring, I like to say, is from really two general areas. One is central sleep apnea, and that's folks over 35, 40 with a belly and um, whatever. There's a typical snoring kind of person. And that is when the brain forgets to stimulate your breathing. That needs to get addressed. And it needs to get addressed first by a sleep study. In my experience, many people who go for a sleep study will fail the study. But if they wash their nose, some of those people will not wind up with a CPAP machine. And a CPAP machine, although life-saving, it is not inexpensive and it's not fun to wear one for the rest of your life. It's not an easy thing to prescribe. So I always suggest folks washing their nose with hypertonic for two weeks before a sleep study because your results will be more accurate. If you're snoring not from central sleep apnea, but you're snoring from blockage, swelling, large adenoids, um, cleaning the nose can help decrease by removing the extra mucus or shrinking the swelling, but it won't move the septum. It won't correct the uvula if it's hanging so low. So there's lots of other issues. I have found it is helpful to just get things clean. It's a little bit like my teeth are hurting. I'm gonna to go to the dentist, should I brush first? 
Well, if you brush first, then you can really see what the issues are. Does that make sense? That totally makes sense. And I'm, I'm sure it will make sense to her as well. So thank you for that detailed explanation there. All right, let's uh, continue. Um, another question is, is distilled water or alkaline water best for use for the nose? I think a nasal solution should have a high pH alkaline. If you're using naso pure, you could use plain water and you will have an alkaline solution. If you're making your own solution and you're not sure of the pH, of course you could use the alkaline. The distilled you can use, but it does not have a high pH. But okay. distilled is more expensive. But okay, I think I think some people have these alkaline water machines that make a higher pH. I think that's what she was referring to. And it doesn't hurt to use that water. It doesn't cause harm. Maybe I misunderstood. Okay, so you can use a higher alkaline even than distilled water, and it's it it's is it better or is it the same or? I guess well, I this. I don't, I'm not aware of any studies where uh, if the pH was 10, what that would do. But we do know that a pH of eight is very therapeutic, healing and soothing. Oh, okay. So, yeah. So in other words, um, if it's too high, it doesn't necessarily, more alkaline doesn't necessarily mean better um, in that sense. So that's good to know that about the pH of eight. And, and we don't know. Let's be fair. We really don't know because each of the studies is so narrow and specific and we're talking about more general um, ideas, so. Okay, perfect. Um, all right, um, just to let everyone in the room know that since you, are, you attended, you're attending this special presentation here, it was our interview with Dr. Solomon, we will send copies of Dr. Solomon's book to everyone uh, in our email. So I just want to let you know that. So, Thank you all for right, that. you're very welcome. Very good. Uh, another question in the chat room was, does this help with migraines? I really, it's a very interesting question. Migraines are very complicated. I want to tell you that officially, no. But I would love to tell you of a friend of mine who is a doctor at the Veterans Hospital, and she had migraines for years. And she started using Nasopure and they resolved. And I cannot figure that out, but she felt strongly that um, by washing with hypertonic, it quieted down the nerve endings that started or stimulated her particular migraines. I don't know enough about it yet, and I haven't had enough feedback from enough patients, but I've heard of two or three over the years where people told me, and I'm not talking about sinus migraine, I'm talking about real migraine. Because you know, some folks interchange those two. Headache's a headache. Um, so we don't know. And the, the last thing I ever want to do is to say something that I am not sure of. Wonderful, wonderful, thank you. Um, another comment, excellent program today. Very helpful information. This All right, oh yeah, another question. Can you show us the kit so we can look for it at Sprouts? Everyone on my kit is either my relative or my patient. Ah, fantastic. Would you All mind right. um, sharing that one more time, Dr. Solomon? Because when you spoke, then you t came on the screen. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh. Is that okay? Perfect. Uh, a comment in the room. What a caring healer she is. Aww. That was... Hugs. <laughs> yes. And uh, the follow-up about the pH, she said, what was that about pH 8? Well, the, I think the, the solution, nasopure solution, when you put it with water, the pH is about eight. That is our goal. And uh, another one said, another comment, I warm up the water in a pot and stir it with my finger so it does not get too hot. Why do we need to replace the bottle every three months 
I don't do that, she said. <sighs> okay, but there's two parts there, the water and the uh, plastic. Okay, let me talk about the bottle first. Because we live in America and we live in a litigious society, and I'm a really small player, and all the other companies say you must repl replace this every three to six months, it has become the federal standard. And because my product is a medical device, I try to be very careful to follow what the guidelines are for fear for somebody to, so I, tr I put that in there because that's the standard American standard for the FDA. That's number one. The other reason I felt like I can do it uh, morally is we do not really know how hypertonic buffered two or four times a day, what does it do to the inside safe BP, uh, BP uh, free plastic? What does it do to the, does it make tiny little, little divots where then it's hard to clean? That was one question that we've not studied, but I question that. If you're only using it once a week or once a day, you don't have to replace it that often. Um, I personally don't, but I write it in my instructions so that we are crossing T's and dotting I's in American business. Well said, Dr. Solomon, very I'm well sorry. said. <laughs> yes. A um, lot of wonderful comments in the room. Very informative and interesting program. I'm excited to do this. Dr. Solomon has such a lovely and caring energy. Thank you. Oh, thank you. So and um, thank you for sharing your knowledge. I bought this months ago and my hubby is trying it now. Um, he was on a motorcycle trip for three weeks with fire and smoke. He's excited to use it now that he listened to, to you. Tell him to call me if he has any questions and to be gentle to himself. Oh, wonderful. I appreciate Dr. Solomon's thoroughness in answering the questions. I use sesame seed oil in my nose every day and stay so much healthier since I started doing this every day. She said she's more vata. Sesame seed oil in nose. Do you know anything about that? No, but I know that oil of some kind is often used to attract the allergens and debris that's and then you wind up my concern is a, a kid doctor is um i worry about aspiration but in an adult it's really not an issue especially not a functioning adult and um is your main website dr salman nasopure.com www.nasopure.com or do you, do you have a different website People no, ask. no, that is my website. But to be honest, I'm not a tech guru person. I have too many gray hair. So other folks deal with that. I'm much more on the phone talking to folks. I mean, our website is nasopure.com. Yes. Okay. Okay, perfect, perfect. I'm just kind of going through the room here. Super helpful ses session. Thanks, Dr. Solomon. Love your style and explaining at a kid's level so we can all understand it easily. So that was another comment. Love it. Uh, uh, let's see here. Okay. I think we are caught up. And I was just checking. Um, Dr. Chari, are there any questions you want to ask Dr. Solomon that wasn't already asked in the room? Um, no, the questions were fantastic. And thank you, Dr. Solomon, for explaining everything so beautifully and so clearly so that we can all use that information. And just to clarify again, for the pH, if they use distilled water and then a packet of your salt solution, that would be the pH of eight? Yes. Okay, beautiful. And if they did for the isotonic for just kind of starting out would be filling up the bottle to the line with one packet and then doing each nostril. But if there's an issue and or they're prepared to actually take it a little stronger, they can put in half the bottle, put one full packet. That'll make it the strongest solution. Perfect. Okay, perfect. perfect. Perfect, perfect. Wonderful, wonderful. And then what I'm going to do is do a screen share uh, with 
your website so everyone can see. And again, isn't Dr. Solomon just so such a beautiful soul? And really, Gosh, did my mother send you money to say all this? It's very <laughs> complimentary. It's true. It's absolutely true. And that energy comes forth in your products as well. And so, and so this is the website, nasopure, N-A-S-O-P-U-R-E.com. It's a website. And then you can, there's education empowerment tab, or if you'd like to, to buy it right away and all of the benefits, there's different tabs and you can see a child using it, which is so encouraging, even for adults, trust me on this one. And then studies and frequently asked questions, testimonials, you'll be very inspired. And a beautiful video where Dr. Solomon talks about how, you know, the, the bottles are BPA plastic free. They're actually assembled by adults with disabilities as she was mentioning, 100% recyclable and made in the USA. And how can you get better than that? And so please visit her website and you can place, you know, orders there or you can go to the local health food stores um, and definitely get the product and start using it for yourself, your family, tell your friends about it. Um, the word needs to get out because it's such a powerful tool for protecting yourself, especially as we're moving into the fall and winter season, which is now more important than ever. What a great show. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, oh. it is our pleasure to have you. And a couple of quick comments I'd like to mention. Um, people are saying they prefer this, uh, definitely preferable to the neti pot. Oh. So, yes, another Hug. person. Yes, and not, you'll like this one. They said, you are a beautiful light on the planet. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, I think we're going to have to do this every week because you made, <laughs> day. You made my week. I appreciate it so much. I, um, I'm half joking, but I, I really take those compliments to heart. Um, to me, it's about the moment, about doing the right thing each moment at every decision. And so I feel like I spent good time with you folks. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. And in fact, one lady is so motivated, she said, I'm going to wash my nose right after this webinar. <laughs> <laughs> Another comment, yes, incredible, valuable miracles, miracle-filled information. And uh, another comment, you are so humble and a wonderful, great energy. I, so. I'm speechless. I'm, I'm very <laughs> humble. Thank you. Yes. If, so, you know, if we can use less drugs and cause less bacterial resistance and reduce suffering from surgery, why not? Absolutely, that sounds fantastic. And also just wanna mention, so we, you can find out, you can tell more people about these wonderful interviews like the one we had with Dr. Solomon. We have an opt-in list. So if you're new here today, you can click on the link so that you can bring all, tell all your friends and relatives to join us next time. We have Dr. Solomon or any other wonderful special guests like her. So um, we'll put that in the room, the opt-in to join our email list. So you can join our email list. And Dr. Chari, if you can put that in the room, that would be great. Um, there was one other comment of a lady who said she's a little scared. Um, I'm not about what you were talking about, Dr. Solomon, but in general, like what I was talking about, what about the old COVID environment. She said, um, what I'm most interested in is how can we protect ourselves from COVID vaccine or how to detox from it? I don't know, Dr. Char, do you want to comment on that? That was a question directed to you. Yes. Um, again, we just wanted you to be aware. And at this point, as information comes to us, because we're finding out at a grassroots level what we can do to protect ourselves from, you know, as this kind of will probably take place more and more on a statewide level. And it's not, I definitely, we didn't want to scare you, but this is going to come out on the media uh, very soon, or you may not be hearing about it. So we wanted you to let, you know, your family, friends know who may be in the States. So they at a grassroots level can get involved. And Robert Kennedy Jr., you know, is in Massachusetts and this is happening in his state. So really we're going to have to become more active. There's other people doing a lot of work, but they're saying, it wasn't the time to come out and do it at that moment because for various reasons, 
um, but they're coming out with, with different protocols. And as they come to us, we will definitely share that with you. And if you all know of any grassroots organizations where we can get involved, all of us and individual, individual states and as a country, please forward that to us as well. And we will share that information with, the, with all of you because we're all, we're all in this together. So, but we just wanted you all to be informed. And yes, we're gonna be proactive. So again, to be prepared and empowered and not scared. Yes, so definitely don't miss our next show. Don't miss any of our shows because it, every show is unique. So definitely tell all your friends and everyone to attend our presentations like this incredible presentation with Dr. Solomon uh, so you can get this incredible information. So um, to close our show today, I'd like to see if there's any other closing words from Mama Chari. Oh, yes, I do. Thank you, Deepak. <clears throat> do you know God is love? truth and service. This is what Dr. Salman is doing, God's work. You know, when, when I, just, I just met her before the show, she, as if I felt like as if I had known her for many, many years, that much love comes from her. It's a very pure love. And she's a beautiful lady and also brilliant. At at uh, later part of her years, she went to medical school with the family. It's not a joke. So she had to be extremely intelligent, brilliant. And look what she's doing. And she's such a beautiful lady. And uh, I mean, <coughs> excuse me. And also Dr. Salman, we always carry <laughs> this, uh, this nose thing. I always ask my daughter, how come you are always giving to everybody? And she said, no, mom, they need it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she gives to everybody. So we, are, we always carry tons of it in our office. And, uh, you know, I love your spirituality. You know, it's so wonderful. It's so deep. And what you are doing is service. This is how we started the show. See, we are sharing with our patient. Then we said, you know, we have to share with everybody. That's how we started the show. So we can educate people, and give them comfort because people are so worried, so concerned, and they don't know what's going on. So this is, how, this is our part of service. And we have great people like you to participate with us and give your, I, I'm seeing all the com comments and compliments on your, uh, on your show. So you don't know how many people you helped today. And we are so grateful to you, so thankful to you. I feel like I just know you, we know you forever. And thank you so much. And God bless you and your family. Oh, my. I don't know what to say, Mama Chari, you are... Um, you know, you almost brought tears to my eyes. I was trying to, you're very sweet and kind and um, your words mean a lot to me. So I thank you very much for those kind words. And I love that your family is doing this for people across the world. Because at the end of the day, we only have each other. So thank you for having me. So beautiful how you said that, Dr. Solomon. It's a pleasure to have you here, and we thank you so much for being with us here today. And I know everyone really enjoyed it, and we got so many wonderful comments, as I shared with you, and of course, you as a person, for what you're doing. And uh, boy, it's made a difference for me. It's made a difference for everyone, and it's a great gift to everyone. So... I would like to thank all of you for attending here today, this incredible webinar. So stay tuned for our next presentation next week. Don't miss it because we'll give you some tips to how to protect yourself from the COVID as someone had asked in the room. Definitely we'll have that as well as exciting up-to-date information with what's going on as well. So without uh, further ado, I'd like to thank you all for coming here and I wish you a wonderful rest of the afternoon. Thank you so much. Dr. Chari, any other comments? Yes. Thank you, Dr. Solomon, again, so much for being here today. And thank you all again for being here live. And for those of you who are watching the replay, also thank you for taking the time to watch the replay. And we will have um, in the email, you know, with the video, we'll have the link for Dr. Solomon's book uh, attached to the email, as well as in the references, how to you know, and in during and in the body of the email itself, how to go to our website to purchase it and you know, reference sections will have the articles we mentioned. 
So thank you again for being here. So again, we're here to empower you and give you the latest information. No, we're here for you. No, we're all in this together. And again, thank you, Dr. Solomon, for being here today. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Namaste. Take care, everyone. Namaste.